What's up YouTube, my name is David and today I'm gonna to be giving you guys 10 different tips on shooting weddings, whether it's photo or video. I'm gonna give you guys some tips that will make your content super amazing to the bride and groom, super unique, and really give it that extra mile so that you can be proud of the work that you are doing. And before I get started, please remember that these tips are just my personal tips to help you. In the end, it's always up to you. The style is completely up to you. What you do is yours. Your style is created by you. I'm just giving you guys some tips that I use or think of or what goes on in my mind when I'm shooting weddings myself. So let's get on with the video. And the first step is gonna be to be prepared. Now, being prepared comes in a lot of ways. Now, personally, I think that being prepared means that you have the gear that you need, know exactly what you're gonna shoot with, know what you're gonna use to shoot what, and to have a shot list, a shot list that you've confirmed with the bride and groom if you ask them, hey, what shots do you want? I'm making a shot list right now, I'm going to add it to the list. Let me know what you guys want and I will add on to it and show you guys. So that way they can confirm they want this and this and this and this. Give them something so that they confirm and just have an idea of what they like, what they need, so that you can have the freedom to shoot whatever else you want on top of what they actually want in the video. This way you won't even get scrambled and you know make sure you know times of things like this time is going to be the first dance, this is going to be the reception time, the address. You know, just keep yourself organized so you know exactly what's going to go on where and you're not, you know, like lost running around trying to figure things out the day of. Tip number two is to keep in contact. And when I say keep in contact, that's with the bride, the groom and the wedding coordinator. That's because you want to be able to know exactly what's going on, if there's any changes. You know, I constantly check up on the bride and groom because usually when I book a wedding, it's at least six months in advance. They ask me at least six months in advance, sometimes a year. They come to me, they tell me, and then, you know, every few months I check on them like, hey, how's everything doing? Are there any changes? Is there anything you want me to know? Are we still good for this day? And then, you know, I come to them with contracts and schedules and shot lists just to kind of like have some context to my conversation with them and it's not just like a regular checkup it's like i have progress here's my progress let me know is there anything else you want changed is everything okay weddings are super stressful and that leads on to the next tip tip number three is to be understanding people getting married are super super stressed out they're super stressed about the day they're super stressed about things going wrong they're super stressed about just everything in general especially the bride so you want to be completely understanding if you want to grab them for some shots like you want to take some pictures or some videos of them personally, make sure they have time. Wait for them to be free because they're going to be all over the place. People are going to be bombarding them with like, hey, let's take a picture. Let's do this. Let's do that. And they're going to be super stressed because they have so many things to worry about. and They have to stay on time, on track. They're spending money on this and they need to literally stay on track or else they're wasting their money. Be respectful, be kind, have manners, be polite, and just be understanding altogether because this is what's gonna get you recommended to more people because if you're not understanding, if you're rude, if you're pushy, if you're annoying, they're not gonna recommend you. You have to understand their viewpoint. Just be understanding of their stress. Just kind of give them some space, get to them when you can, let them know. All, I mean, if you want to, you can remind them. What I do is I go to them like, hey, would love to have you guys for some videos, this here and here and here for this and this and that. But please take your time. Let me know whenever you are ready. And ahead of time, I also even ask them before the wedding months in advance. I'm like, hey, I think it would be amazing if I could borrow you guys for a few minutes after this just to take some quick videos. I think it would be amazing. Let me know how it goes. We can schedule it. Let's just make it work. Tip four is going to be something that's very personal to yourself, but it is to be work oriented. Now, this means like, for example, at the dinner, I had an experience where the photographer was demanding to be fed right now, like as soon as possible, because the way I see it is you're there to work. You're hired, you're being paid to work, and of course you get food. But what I see it as is it's someone's special day and you don't want to miss a moment. You want to grab all the details you possibly can. What I do is I like to sit down, eat, take a bite, get up, grab my camera, go grab some details of people eating, you know, stay working, stay work oriented. Of course, eat, feed yourself, get some water, get something to drink, have fun. But at the same time, remember, you're there to capture someone's special day and it's a memory that's going to stick with them forever and you are in charge of capturing it. Make sure that you are actually, you know, there. You're actually in the moment to capture it because 
that is what you are hired for. You know, don't be demanding, don't be pushy, don't, don't, you know, just worry about yourself. Worry about the wedding because that's what you're there for. And now that we've actually gone through the attitude, the preparation, everything, let's talk about actually shooting the wedding. Tip number five. Tip number five is going to be about details. Detail shots are everything when it comes to a shooting wedding. So whether it's photo, whether it's video, you want to capture those little details because those little details are going to be things that people want to remember but probably won't remember because they're going to remember the bigger things like the first kiss, walking down the aisles, the dances that they did when they were walking down the aisle or into the reception. You want to capture those details, the, the shoes, the, the patterns on the dress or the rings when they're together in the box. You want to be able to capture all of that because those are the details that people live for. Those are the things that people want to see in the video and those are going to be the most aesthetically pleasing things for the video because those shots are just absolutely beautiful. Make sure you guys get some close-ups, some macro, some wide, some mediums. Just get a bunch of things because overshooting is always best. Candid shots. Tip number six is to always grab some candid shots because candid shots are going to be what the bride and groom want to see. They want to see the guests interacting. They want to make sure that the guests are having fun. So including these in the shots whether it's photo or video is going to give them the the instance that yes the guests were having a ton of fun they were having so much it's such an experience at their wedding because they want people to enjoy their wedding that's the whole reason of the wedding the wedding isn't just for them it's for the guests it's for the family they want to capture and make sure everyone's having fun having an amazing time and just experiencing life with them their their holy matrimony together capture everything you can candid not candid just pose everything just capture it all and that leads into tip number eight tip number eight is to grab excess always grab more than you possibly could in any other shoot because when i finish shooting a video for weddings i always have like four or five hundred clips that i never touch or add in the video but I had it just in case I needed filler, in case I needed to throw something in because I always leave with hundreds and thousands of photos or, sh or like video clips just because extra is so much better than not having enough. So make sure you shoot everything and if you're taking photos just hold down the shutter button because honestly that's the best thing you could do because you'll never miss a moment. Because if you miss a moment like the first kiss, it's over. <laughs> you can't miss a moment like that. So that's going to be leading into tip number did I skip tip number seven? I think I skipped tip number seven. Tip number seven is gonna be focusing. Sorry guys, I definitely forgot about tip number seven. Tip number seven is focusing. So, focus is really hard sometimes, especially if you're auto-focusing. So my tip to you is set your focus beforehand. Sometimes I would shoot some shots where I was doing a specific motion where the distance between me and the subject would not change, like a pan side to side. So something like that, you can do manual focus. And this shot here, I did manual focus because I focused it along with the bridesmaid and the groomsmen that are walking through the aisle. And then I left it on manual focus and just pan side to side. I didn't move forward, I didn't move backward. This way the focus stays put. But if you're panning in or out like a push, you are going to have to focus it unless you focus at the specific point where it ends for like something like the first kiss. It's a lot harder, so make sure that you're constantly able to focus. If you miss a moment like the first kiss and it goes blurry, then it's pretty much all over. But you know, for the most part, I do have a lot of good luck when it comes to that. I use autofocus for a push, and a lot of times I use manual focus for a pan. It's all up to you, but remember, focusing is really hard, so if all else fails, just do manual focus and keep your distance the same. Tip number nine is gonna be to add a little bit more aesthetic and emotion to your video or photo. What I like to do is I like to pull the bride and groom aside, especially during a reception when the sun's about to set or something. I like to pull them aside and capture some footage of them by themselves, just the two of them enjoying each other, having fun, having laughs, loving each other, because this is gonna add so much emotion to the video. It kind of sets the feel of the video together because of course, you have the reception, you have the ceremony, you have the prep. At the end of it all, you don't really have any videos of them together, like just them. They're always surrounded by people. You have the ceremony, of course, you have the reception, of course, the first dance and all that. You just don't have any videos of them, just videos or photos of them just together, them alone, just, you know, enjoying each other's presence. So being able to capture this is super awesome because it'll add so much to the video and you can use it as secondary B-roll to just throw in there because they'll love that the shots that i get from it they tell me like yo that shot was amazing this shot was amazing that looked 
so good. The shots that you get it there when there's nobody around, there's nobody bothering them when they're not as stressed. Because in this moment, they can kind of relax. They're just enjoying each other's presence, loving each other, and they're not as stressed as they would be surrounded by all these people in the middle of the room in a reception. Just grab them in a moment when you have time, when they have time, just come together, grab some stuff, and it'll piece the video together. And my last tip to you is going to be the music. The music sets the entire mood of the video. You wanna make sure that you edit or, you know, stylize the video or photos to the theme and vibe of the wedding. A lot of people love that bright, white, clean look for photos, and a lot of people love that vintage vibe for videos, or some people might want that very upbeat, hype, happy, or that even that soft, elegant look. So depending on the bride and groom, you gotta make sure you know what you wanna do. And you can always talk to the bride and groom about this beforehand, or you can do it afterwards and kind of decide for yourself. A lot of times I like to decide for myself based off what I was feeling during shooting it. But you can always ask them beforehand because that is always a good idea. Anyways, that is all for today's video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have an amazing day, morning, night, or wherever you're watching from. I'm headed to Cancun today or the day that this video is going to be released. So hopefully this video finds you guys well and I will catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll see you next time. Peace.